All right, so we have an update on Jonathan Majors and his domestic assault case. And in it, he agreed to a domestic, a protection order, a permanent protection order. Well, permanent until the, until the hearing. And he, he's fine with it because he, he feels like it's good for him. And I, I would agree. I mean, what better way to show he's not the monster that he's being portrayed as than by, you know, agreeing to these things. And let's face it. Why would he, if he, if he um, didn't do what is said of him, why would he want to have contact with her? I mean, what, what good would come of it? He certainly wouldn't want to try to be friends with her, let alone start dating her, because, you know, why would you want to date someone who accused you of this? Even in anger. I mean, regardless of why she did this, if he did not do this, I wouldn't want to be around that person either. But anyway, um, the article starts, The alleged victim in a domestic violence incident with Jonathan Majors has been granted a full temporary order of protection by a New York judge um, and the actors in full agreement with the measure. Today, a judge granted a full temporary order of protection for the victim per the people's request and with the consent of defense counsel, revealed the Manhattan District Attorney's Office Thursday. At the time of arraignment, a limited temporary order of protection was granted. The order directs majors to have no contact with the alleged victim. It remains in effect until at least the next court hearing, which is currently scheduled for May 9th. Now, oh, I had something else that I wanted to mention about this. Oh, yes, but this kind of go, goes against this idea that this woman um, claimed that she was the instigator of the argument that that um, she was dropping the charges that he didn't do what she claimed he did. And now there is a protection order. Something is not right. Either she didn't um, take back what she said. Or this is just some um, bureaucracy, you know, that she's a potential domestic abuse victim, we need to do this. But something just isn't jibing with, with this whole thing. Now, it could be that, um, I know that it happens with everyone that sometimes you replay something in your mind and it starts morphing into something it wasn't in the beginning. So maybe now she does believe that she's, an, she's a victim of abuse. But at the time she didn't. Who knows? This is just weird. Alright, so it goes on. This is, a, this is standard in cases such as this. And we consented because Mr. Majors wants nothing to do with the woman who assaulted him fair um and that's from the actor's attorney now this is something new um we knew that the legal defense was a, was that majors is the victim here that was always there but that she assaulted him that's new i don't believe that was mentioned before um, let's see, it goes on to point out that everybody's dropping him like a hot potato because, you know, we, even though we have a system of innocent until proven guilty, let's just ruin this man's career before we find out that, oh, we shouldn't have done that. 
I've even seen Marvel fans so sure that he's going to be recast as Kang. That no, that he's, that he's going to be dropped as Kang and the role will be recast. Why? I mean, wait until the legal system goes through. If it's discovered that he didn't do what he is being accused of, and it's sounding like he didn't, then, you know, why ruin his career? Now, if he did, then, oh yeah, he, he definitely should get, get, there should be repercussions. But let's find out if he really did it first, before we start dropping him on everything. Um, I know that thanks to me to the, the, um, phrase, believe women became a catchphrase and yes, absolutely. We should believe victims until we learn that there's evidence that they were lying. This is not believe women at all costs. This is believe women when they're telling the truth. So let's not assume that he's the bad guy. Let's not minimize what she's saying, but let's not completely destroy him until we know that what she's saying is really true. That's what believe women means. Don't don't just ignore them. Um um, make sure, make sure that she is telling the truth, though. Not just assume she is and nothing comes of it. Anyway, we have been transparent and cooperative with the district attorney, including giving the district attorney ample evidence, including witness statements of Mr. Major's innocence. Um, in fact, we recently provided a forensics medical opinion from a board-certified emergency medicine doctor and trauma specialist who has examined the photos and videos of the woman and concludes without hesitation that the woman did not have any injuries at the nightclub and that the injuries she sustained later did not come from Mr. Majors and, that, and could not have come from the way the woman described them. In fact, the forensic medical expert's opinion shows that the woman is lying. So, this is going to get ugly. Very, very ugly. It is disturbing that even when presented with this incontrovertible evidence, the district attorney continues this false case, as well as repeatedly claiming that Majors is innocent in the past week the lawyer sent a letter to the judge in the matter citing body cam footage and accusing one of the NYPD officers who arrived on the scene that night at Majors' apartment of coaching the alleged victim to accuse Mr. Majors of assault, even pantomiming what she should say. Oof. If, that, if even some of that is true, that is bad. I mean... It's one thing to help get a victim's thoughts in order, but to, and lawyers do, do, do that. I don't know about police, but lawyers will do that. They'll be like, okay, this is what's going to happen. You need to say this or an approximation of this, but to actually go to a victim and Tell them, oh, you need to say this to screw him over. Mm, yeah. Uh, I don't know. That, that just, I don't know. Get her own words first and then maybe tell her how to properly go through the procedure. Something just does not sit well with this at all. It sounds like Majors is being railroaded based on this. I mean, it could be that they're the ones who are lying, but we'll just have to wait for the trial to find out what's going on because so far it's, it's really looking bad, not for Jonathan, but for her. What 
like I said, we'll we'll see what else comes out. The DA's office did not comment on Chaudhry's latest assertion, Chaudhry being um, Majors' lawyer. Although it is confirmed that Majors was the one to call 911, the actor was arrested on March 25th after being involved in a domestic abuse with a 30-year-old female, according to the NYPD at the time. The victim was taken to the hospital with minor injuries to her head and neck. Having been taken to the jail that night, Majors appeared in front of a judge early on March 22nd and was released. Um, let's see. Facing multiple counts of harassment and assault from DA Alvin Bragg's team, Majors' hearing next month will see law enforcement lay out their case in full. The alleged victim is the only individual right now that prosecutors plan to bring up at that session. So... Yeah, we'll just have to wait till the next court date on May 9th, which is what? Uh, Tuesday. So, starting Tuesday, hopefully we'll get more information about this and we'll get a better, hopefully a better sense as to who is, who is the guilty party. Because from the very beginning, it sound, and I still wonder if it's not continuing that a woman got angry at Jonathan for whatever reason, and and maybe she did physically assault him. We don't know, and that you know she decided to screw him over by. By doing this and now she cannot stop lying not because she wants to continue hurting him maybe but someone probably told her that she will be sued or whatever the term is for a, for making a false police report and so she would rather try to ruin him than to have to have any consequences on herself because in a fit of anger she filed a false police report now this could end up turning out even worse for her if if my reading of this is correct this could end up even being worse than filing a false police report because then she would have to be committing perjury she would have to be doing all these other things, which is just going to make her life so much worse when it's if it's discovered. So, not sure why she's continuing with this. If she um, took back her initial charge, but like I said, maybe she played it over in her head multiple times and slowly morphed, and now she really believes she was assaulted. That's a possibility, too. So, anyway, that is the latest on what's going on with Jonathan Majors. And I will see you guys in the next video.